Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. David TPCA. Nate 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Ahsoka, episode two, I know we're like super far behind, but we're going to we're gonna try to catch up. But uh, this episode was um was okay. Yeah, it, it was, like I said, a little filler. A yeah, little bit. Like all this information could have been conveyed in 10 minutes. Yeah, and again, a lot of cool set pieces. You go to like a shipyard, you got some myst- the mystical Stonehenge yeah, looking thing. That wasn't built by Jedis, it was built by ancient people. Ancient people, or is it Dathomir? Yeah, I don't like, know. who knows. I did like the lightsaber battles, were good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing I didn't like, I, I don't know, I liked Hera in Rebels. I don't really like General Sandula. I don't like her as a general now because she kind of just walks around still wears her pilot clothes and not like and she's gonna be throwing around the general name yeah just why didn't she dress more like a general then i i think what they're trying to convey is that like she's kind of not lost herself self but like what do you do like she's still wearing her pilot outfit even though she should be wearing some type of republic uniform and she doesn't so she's still wearing like her like uh scandal you know what what han solo would wear you know just like her jacket and like her bomber vest or whatever right and that was okay in empire strikes back because that's they're still in a war you you know but yeah like afterwards if you're still part of the army or part of the republic you'd probably be wearing and it almost seems like Hera's whole point is to be um to like try to get ahsoka to like be nicer, <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be like, why don't you, why don't you just be a little nicer? I, I, she has the role of concerned mom, yeah, for her daughter. Yeah, so, yeah. that's what she, it. Kind of really feels that way a little mm-hmm. bit. But um, we we open up and apparently if you can stab the lightsaber, he's got to go to the ER. <laughs> Qui Gon is so mad right Qui-Gon's now. Qui Gon's up and home. He's he's just like, the hell's going on? <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, this. she got stabbed in the side, guys. Um, go watch episode one, and when they were cutting down those doors. How much heat is produced from a lightsaber? So when that thing goes inside you, all the gets is cooking. Your lungs, your liver, all that stuff is going to be just horrifically scarred. And it wasn't like it was a quick like in and out. It was straight up like. <laughs> Here's the thing. When did she? When did it make more sense? Instead of her just being like in a bed where they, she got a candy gram, they should have had her in that bath thing. Yeah, remember the that tank. that Bubba was in that tank. You know the one Goku had to be in for like four hundred days on Namek. <laughs> she needs to be some something where it's like someone goes. They even should have even mentioned it. Like one of the droid, you know, was like, "Oh, it's only one wound." She's like, "You don't understand how much damage a lightsaber does to the body." Like, have a line like that right. where they're like, "She's in a tank, a bantha tank, or whatever," and just get keeping her alive. Or, or, or even if they didn't want to do the full tank, like have the stomach part in the yeah, tank. like where she's in, and like her head's out of it. Yeah, like like, Cap- like Captain Pike, or actually <laughs> one for yes, two for now, you know, or, or like the history of Trunks. Yeah, the Trunks, he had that whole thing, and then just above his neck. Yeah, just sitting in that that healing. Thing. thing yeah no instead of just like oh i'm getting an owie yeah. uh, she the, the pain she feels from the way that she's acting in this hospital she got punched in the stomach really hard yeah or got hit with again hit with the blaster but even a blaster kills you yeah you know decently so lightsabers are kind of weak now I so guess. uh it doesn't kill her discount lightsaber but then you just have uh you just have uh just ahsoka being you lost the map you stinky head She's a little harsh, a little harsh for someone that doesn't have any force powers. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> like, it's it's really funny because I, I I I want I wanted to go back to being more of a Mandalorian and not like this pretend Jedi Padawan thing. Right, right, and, and I know they're trying to do it in the series where like I don't know the maybe the message is is like oh anyone can kind of you know train well they have acolytes i know you can be an acolyte in the temple who keeps the records and you have no no force powers whatsoever you just believe in the way of the jedi right but you can never be a jedi so that's fine they've had those before and she could be a mandalorian that uh, that does all the teachings and does all the things but she can't do jedi things right it's it's i i know this whole thing like it kind of happens with spider-man anyone could be spider-man yeah yeah yes the sentiment is yes, anyone can be a hero, but not everyone can be Spider Man. Everyone can. There's heroes in Star Wars. Not right. all the heroes are Jedi's. Right, right. But wh- why do we have to make it to where you have to be a Jedi? Yeah, or the fact that like she's really pushing it, and I don't know why. It's super weird because 
I want to say Hera wants it more than anyone. Yes, more than yeah, more than Sabine sometimes. Yeah. Like it's like she's that that mom that wants her daughter to be on that team. Yeah, you know? like you're gonna be on the church team if it kills me. Yeah, you're gonna be a Jedi if it's the last because maybe for Kanan. I maybe. don't know. Like it's weird. It's super weird. Right. But even Hera is always like. Like after like Ahsoka's like you did enough Sabine you think yeah yeah she you like leaves the room you did a good job Sabine you should tell her that she's not the one that needs to hear it mm-hmm. it's like it's like a you go girl scene in almost every scene with them too yeah they really are having a hard time like seeing eye to eye and I don't know if it's because Ahsoka expects more or if Sabine because we don't know what happened. Like, right. so they were training, and then what happened? R- right. Did she tell her to go F off? Like, what happened? I, I know there's probably more explanation, I hope, because I think I trust Dave Filoni in his writing to actually explain this, but it does seem like we don't have anything. But how did this even start? Oh, do you want to be my... Because she calls her a Padawan at the end of the episode. She yeah, calls yeah, her, her Padawan. my Padawan. So she's training her to be a Jedi Knight, which makes no sense. Right. The only thing I can conclude would be... Um, she is afraid to train someone. But but then why even... Like, I don't know. I, right, right. Like, I, I understand, like, the whole point. Because if, cause if you think about it, she was scared to train Grogu. Didn't want to do it because of his attachment. Then, you know, you have someone most likely, uh, you know, she, Hera's Sabine son. Sabine has so many attachments. I, I know. It's, More attachments than Grogu just has the one. I, Sabine has attachments to all kinds of people. I know. It doesn't mean... It's the... That's so stupid. But and then you have Hera's son that most likely probably does, if I had to guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. When I train him. Right. And he's the right age. And here's the thing, a lot of, someone brought this up I was on Twitter. They're like, you do realize Sabine's like thirty. Yeah, yeah. She's older. She acts like she's seventeen. Yeah. In my mind, I still think I'm still thinking Rebel Sabine in my brain. Yeah, which is like what, fifteen, sixteen? Sixteen years old. And no, it's been it's after this is after it's all ten the, years. The, the, so yeah. she's like at least twenty six. She's like almost yeah, she's gonna be pushing thirty. But she acts like a child. And and then Ahsoka treats her like a child, too. So it's weird. It, you have to realize, oh my goodness, she's a woman. Like a woman woman. Not a young woman. A woman. Right. But see, but also I feel like that's also the problem with uh, Ahsoka's training. Because you always had Anakin that would either be like, you gotta listen to me. You gotta do everything. You know, like that kind of stuff. So like, I think, Ahsoka, I think Ahsoka has like this... It's a weird... I don't want to see her training style because we haven't seen it. No. We've seen how Luke trains. We've seen how Anakin and Obi-Wan train, how Kwai Kwan trains. But how does she train? Because everyone kind of has their own way of doing it. Like, yeah. Being a football coach or any sports coach, you're all playing the same game, but everyone coaches differently. Right, right. So, you know, you get that hair like Slay Queen kind of like with, with Sabine all the time. We cut back to the uh, the Dark Jedis. Are, are they Sith? They are, I, I want to say what, what Dave Filoni just said or something, Jedis? the Fallen Jedis. Or some some kind of work, they're not, but isn't that just a Sith? <sighs> Obviously they're helping yes. the bad guys, but they get to like the, the stone hedge of ancient times <laughs> and they put the little, uh you know, the treasure planet cube thingy uh, and then, within the thing, <clears throat> uh, call the witch, she's going to know what's up. Mm-hmm. And we're like, okay, so they're just like waiting for her to show up there. Um. Ahsoka goes back to the, you know, the tower, you know, or Sabine's little apartment because they're suspecting that there's still one more droid, like assassin droid up there. And this scene, again, goes on forever. Yeah, I understand. Details are cool. Right. And I understand they're doing the, again, people have said it's the Force Echo, you know, they're sensing like the, so she's sensing like the crime scene, basically. Yeah, she can like hear what happened. Like, yeah, she's like hearing what Sabine said and like remember when Aragorn like knew what happened in the battle in Lord of the Rings because he can like read the footprints and stuff she's doing that right right or in the movie Rotor when, when he can like re-see the crime scene it's like that yeah. so so she goes back in there and then catches the droid like hmm, chopped his head off brings the head back to Sabino can you like you know, trace it back like hack its brain or whatever she's yeah. like oh these new battle droids they're always unless you completely destroy the brain like the brain circuitry it it, it keeps a low power mode so it can always go back into combat so we can trace it where at least where it came from right but like 
it's a mini game, right? You know, like in most video games when you like hack a door, right. it's a mini game. Oh, it's overheating! It's overheating! Yeah, and because they're like, oh, if we give it too much power, it's just gonna blow up in her face. And, and then Hera's like, that's a risk I'm willing to take because she's like not there. She's like in a hologram. <laughs> yeah, uh, the 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 android, or the droid. Uh, he even says something. Yeah, like, yeah, you're, like, yeah. you're not in the room. You're not in the room. Why? Yeah, she's you like, don't care. Yeah. Well, you're, that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> your oh, lives, you're gonna die. Yeah, your lives are worth the risk. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna blow up. Uh, uh, Yang pulls it before it does, but she was able to get where the droid came from. Right. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. That's a that's a uh, Republic a shipping yard. Shipping yard we've been using for years. Like, has anyone checked it out? And they're like, well, I guess that's going to be step one. I'm coming too. No, you're not. You're stinky. You stay here. And then Ahsoka <laughs> runs out of the room. <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird because like, She's still a Mandalorian with armor and weapons. She could still, and you know she can fight. Just bring her. I know. It, just because she's on the mission with you doesn't mean your 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 partners again. You're like a Padawan and master again. Whatever. So they're off to that place. We see the witch comes back and activates the cubes. Like oh, and I guess this place is like super far away. Yes. Like it's so far away. It's it's unfathomable to think how far. Right. We're we're talking. At least separate, like Mul- ga- galaxies upon galaxies, galaxies, because she goes, "Go, oh, this is our galaxy," and it's like the size of a bagel. Yeah, and then a good fifty yards away, there's another galaxy. She's like, "Oh, that's where Admiral Thrawn is." So we're talking what between how many galaxies could fit between those two spaces? A, a hundred? Yeah, that that is so far beyond. Like you couldn't imagine how far that that away that is. Right, but if you think about it, though, when the when the whales do do the jump, though, they're just going straight there. Yeah. and I'm thinking like, man, they must be on that journey for a long, yeah, long time. Well, kind of like um, I guess like riding the currents. Yeah, and so I'm thinking that that, but again, um, they never said this is a map of the whales. No, they've only ever said this is the map of whatever some ancient map. And someone told me on Twitter, oh, if it's just a map of the migrations of those whales, that makes sense. Yes. But they never say that in the show. No, not yet. It's just inferred because I think even when they showed the the hologram, it showed like the whales around it. Yeah. So I'm assuming, but why don't they just say that? I, because I don't know. Uh, I, I think maybe it's because like, maybe and, they're trying to do that whole like hint at it without saying it. But this is something that would be kind of nice to just let us know. You know um, we don't it's need gonna, I'm not going to remember these Dark Jedi's names. Because they don't say them enough. Oh, what's his name? But I call the the Inquisitor. Yeah, the the the, the bearded guy in his. Oh, little, oh, Balin. Balin, that's his name. Uh, Shin. Shin. So Balin seems to be very um, like he's he, he's doing these bad things, but he's a little hesitant. But he also talked about he's like, oh, what happens when Thrawn gets back? Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, war for some, you know, and then like, and just like, what about us? Power like you wouldn't believe, but what power? I, I maybe because like he would they would be like basically maybe the right hand of Thrawn, especially I, with the force powers. I guess, but like what happened that made him hate the Jedi so much? Uh you know what? It, okay, so I actually oddly enough, uh my own personal uh looking at videos today, there was actually a group of Jedi that didn't want to join the war. They thought the Jedi Order was really overstepping their bounds becoming they did. generals. They did. Right. So maybe Balin was one of them. Oh, and he's just like, because they weren't meant to be on battlefields and commanding troops and stuff. Right. And but what so, else, what other choice did they have, though? Exactly. So maybe that's where Balin was feeling. Maybe he's like, was on their side of like, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. It falls apart horribly. And so he's like, yeah, I guess I was right. My gut feeling of not being a general in a war. So he wants like unbelievable power, unlimited power. Right. So that's what he wants. I, I don't know what that even means. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we get back to uh, Ahsoka and um, General Hera. General Sindula, uh, like that's the so General Sindula because he keeps <laughs> calling himself General all the damn time because no. like it, like it means anything. Uh, they get to the shipping yard and the guy's like, "You can't come in here. I'm a snivelly little bad guy. You can't <laughs> tell that I'm evil just because I'm a snivelling little white man." So she's like, "I'm a general. I can make this happen." Okay, well, we'll show you. And then they ride on the thing and get to see Hera's butt. And she's riding on the thing. <laughs> well, that's what makes it so weird. I, I, okay, I love it's to like see. It's like a little butt shot. It's weird. <laughs> no, not the butt shot. But like the, the, the trolley, they're going to the factory, which is and nice. And they talk, 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 talk. I'm like, oh, okay. But again, it's setting up. And and then she's like pushing to let uh to let uh to let her back on the cheer team. Oh, yeah. You yeah, she's yeah. like, hey. You ever think about taking her back on, you know, wink, wink, I'll just give you five bucks. It's weird. She's pushing so damn hard for this. And it goes on and on and on and on. And they talk about like, oh, she's like, 
you know, all the different things. Oh, we're decommissioning uh, Empire Tech and making it ours. Yeah, we're making our own shit. We sell some stuff. We repurpose some things. But it's like, that's a that's such a big operation. It's easy to be selling weapons to the to the bad guys. Right, right. Easy. She even, I think, makes a point of like, that engine's way too big for any of our ships. Where's that going? Yeah, so they're like, oh, we'll look into that. Like, yeah, exactly. You know exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. So get back to Sabine, and she's like, ooh, my owie's all healed. Well, 22 minutes later. <laughs> I love the interaction with the robot, though, because he actually tells her, like, you're actually one of the worst. He's like, I have overseen over, like, the hundreds of years that I've, like, trained uh, Jedis. And Padawans. Padawans. You're literally the worst that the Force I've ever seen. Yeah. And she's like, well, thank you. But he's like, I'm going to just tell you the truth, which is good. I like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know what's so funny? But he never, t- but he told us, but you don't ever stop. Uh, that is true. And that's what I like about it. He doesn't give compliment. He gives, he gives the whole compliment sandwich a little bit, you know. What I, what I like about you, what needs improvement mm-hmm. and was something I like. Uh, maybe something like, or maybe just the opposite. He just two bad things and one good thing. But he talks about the sabers. She's like, oh, that's not my sabers. And he's like, well, yeah, it is. He modified it. Was, it. it was given to you. You modified it and you trained with it. It's your lightsaber it's now. Your lightsaber. So that's super, you know, he's being super cool about it. Right. But he's like, you know, I'll be wasting anyone's time trying to be, a, you know, doing the Jedi training. And he's like, what are you doing now, basically? The only time you're wasting is your own. Um, right. Which is a great kind of cool Jedi. There's no point of crying. and It's not going to help. And you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the speed racer. <laughs> the speed, it shows him. He's all staring at her. You got a lot of work to do. Let's go. But they get to like the main control facility and Ahsoka and they're looking at stuff. That's when they bring up that big engine. It's like that's for like a class one, you know, star destroyer thing. And what are we using that for? Let's look it up. It's classified. It's like I'm a freaking general. Unclassify it. Oh, well, let me see what I can do. do. But then you see other people in the room are like, er, pretend to be working. And then, uh, of course, the droid's like, oh, I know where it's going. I saw it. was like, oh, what kind of the droids do you have here? Oh, we got T-77s. And he's like, do you have any HK droids? Like, oh, those are... Uh, oh, those are assassin droids. Why would you need those? And then this other droid's like, oh, yeah, I saw one. And they're like, you should x on the droid, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, oh, that droid had a special clearance. I can't stop them. Then this one guy goes, oh, jigs up. So jumps up, tries to kill Hera. With but why, did, why didn't he just walk up behind her and say, excuse me, General, this is my plan. If I was an evil guy, I'd be like... General Sandula, I can no longer keep this a secret. I have to show you these files that I found. Come look at my screen. And as she's looking over, shoot right under the chin. Right, right. Or even do the whole, like, oh, General Sandula, we can show you, like, where our files are and try to separate the two. Yeah, and, like, lock her in a room or something. Yeah, or shoot her there when she's by herself. But I guess that droid was on one of the ships that are taking off. So they're like, oh, we got to stop them. And that's when the little battle takes place. Then we get a cool scene where Soka's like, I'll handle this. And she shoves out the window. And she starts like running after it, but I guess they there there's another dark Jedi or an Inquisitor because mm-hmm. they're kind of wearing kind of the Inquisitor and armor. He's got the spinny, the spinny, thing. the spinny thing. Pretty cool fight happens. It's a droid that Inquisitor person versus Ahsoka. It's a cool fight. I like oh, it. Yeah. Um, I like her like super low like squat samurai stance that she does. I like that's super cool. <laughs> and especially with her robes, it just looks very and, cool. And the dual wielding. Yes. Uh, Hera goes after the the shuttle. She's like, hey, this is General. Sandula, I'm giving you a direct order to stop this ship. And of course, she starts firing on her. And she's like, oh. How do lasers explode? Like, it was like almost doing chaff. Yeah. And, uh, like, how does, that, how does that work? Because, like, it would get close. Like, I understand. And it would dissipate. Real, real anti-air stuff has, like, the bursting bombs that they shoot in the air. How does a laser do that? Anyways, she's right. just dodging everything. And, of course, Chopper's the best part of anything. Anything Chopper's in is the best. <laughs> and she's like, we need to get a, a, tra- a tracker on this thing. And don't miss this time. Because she's literally going to throw it. And he's looking for it. And he's like, where is it at? She's like, did you look under there? He's like, oh, maybe. <laughs> it's just because Chopper's right. Chopper, and like, right? You, and then he's like, you moved my stuff? Like, he's no, like, I didn't move your stuff. He's you, like, you're going through my stuff again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, that's funny. Yeah. I, I like Chopper. I, you know what's so funny about the fan base with Chopper? People love him or hate him. Some people are like, I hate He was the guy. best guy around. I know. With all the people he murdered. <laughs> what murders? What murders? What murder? He's great. He's, He's a great, great guy. guy. So both these fights are going on. And I, uh, of course, she's like an ace pilot. Like, yeah, so she's just dodging. She's dodging. She gets on top. Chopper drops the thing on there. They roll out right before they jump into uh, hyperspace to get out of there. But they got him tracked. Super cool. Um, the, the bad guys get away. I do love the little move the guy does. He throws a lightsaber at her and then he just takes off. Yeah. And then it comes up behind her and she just kind of takes side steps it when he goes right past her. Because you know she easily could have just broke it and just been like, oh, yeah, now you don't have your lightsaber. But now. then they're like staring at each other and they fly off. Yeah. So like, couldn't she have been like, yanking force pull him off the thing? He should cut it. Like off the steps? 
Because I feel like, maybe, okay, maybe this is what it was. I, if I had to guess, they needed them to get away because they needed the tracker to get to where it was going instead of it thinking, oh, crap, we got an Inquisitor gone, so maybe we'll yeah. just rendezvous something Oh, else. yeah, maybe. But that's a lot of chess moves where they could have just took them and questioned them. But. Uh, we get another slow scene, which I do. I, I, I So Sabine goes back and she collects all her armor. Yes, so she's actually doing the Mandalorian thing. And I love it. And stuff. then she gets like her knife. She does like her prayer and everything. Super cool. I love it. I, all Mandalorian stuff I love because they're just like, they're, again, every time there's a warrior race in a sci-fi thing, that's like the Klingons. Or they're like, you know, the, the Mandalorians are that kind of like that where they have like a spiritualness to them. Even though they're extremely violent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. And then... Um, I love her helmet. It looks so cool. Oh, that looks so cool in live action. The ceremonial action. cutting of the hair. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we get... Uh, all the people are getting arrested. Can't believe they're still loyal to the Empire. Oh, you know, they'll do anything for, for some credits. Yeah, and, it's greed. Yeah. yeah. It's but that goes thing. to show you that... you, the The Empire did bring stability. Right, right. For all their evil things they did, they did bring a ton of stability. And also they would pay you. Like, yeah. you know, like right now, think about it. If you're, you are a stormtrooper, you can do maybe pub, like the like planet security, but I bet you don't pay you as much as the stormtrooper did. Yeah, see, like, like there's like even the stories where like in the Star Wars universe where a guy's like, yeah, before the Empire took over, I was a muckraker. Yeah. Making two cents a day and I couldn't feed my kids. Now I I fly transports for the Empire. My kids are in private schools, and they're gonna have my oldest daughter in college, like in a university, and I can pay for it. Right. And I can and I get I get three months of leave. I get to come home and hang out with my family. Before I was digging on a and I was digging uh, bantha poop, and that was my job, you know. Right. And I wasn't doing very well. Or you can have people that are like, hey. Empire is evil, but I just want to be the little cog in the wheel so I don't get killed, and yeah, I can still make my money. Or I was in a a, a a city and a planet on the kind of close to the outer rim, ran by pirates. Empire came in, killed all those bastards, gave us a mayor, and now I can just have a normal job. My kids can play in the park without getting killed. Yeah, exactly. So, granted, yes, we know the Empire are evil bad guys, but you know, but we see that all this. All the uh, the red tape and everything we even saw that in the Mandalorian. Yes, where they got no, they have they have committees they have to talk to. And, oh, we got to think about this. <laughs> it's like well, uh, we'll, we'll we'll sign this in triplicate, and we'll see if we can get reinforce some funds. We might get back to you in six months. All my people will be dead in six months. Right. And you're not part of the Republic, so, you know... We really don't care. Yeah, pretty much. You don't have a space charter, whatever the stupid crap they have. Right, and so, like, I can see why people could start being, like, a little fed up with the Republic. So, like, hey, Chopper, get anything on that, that tracker? And he's like, not yet, not yet. Okay, they're still looking for it. Uh, Sabine, they just recreate the end of Rebels? Yeah, pretty much. Shot for shot. I watched a uh, TikTok, and a guy's like, I didn't make that connection. What? What are you... What? Okay. God, how do you not make that connection? Um, unless, it's literally shot for shot. The only difference is Ahsoka isn't in her white robes. Yeah, she's in still like in her gray like outfit. But um, yeah. Because um, I've seen the scenes played over each other and it's damn near one for one. She touches the face. She turns but of around. Of her brother that she likes as her brother. Uh, maybe that's Star Wars Brothers. Um, but um, <laughs> and the other version, she licks it. It's weird. <laughs> it's no, weird. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's but, so ridiculous. Right, and she turns around. So yeah, like I, I think that again, some people are doing that. Like unless you never saw Rebels. Yeah, that's a, maybe the only excuse you can have. But like, if you saw Rebels, it was such an iconic ending that made you think, oh my god, there's no more Rebels, and then you didn't make the connection after you watched this. You're yeah, an idiot. Yeah, you're pretty. Yeah. Sometimes I think people are fake surprised in, in like and videos, videos yeah. where it's like, no, you shut up. You weren't that. Surprised. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. You're an idiot. Shut up. But um, I do like the fact that we get that like, oh, cool, live action version of a cartoon thing that and it, and it was done normally. It wasn't right. done like the stupid version. Right. Or the fact, too, that like like people say with the art, it's the same. So yeah. it's like literally taking that from the from the show making a real mural. Yeah, I, it's it. super cool. Yeah. I love it. But um, yeah, then they go, okay, we're, we tracked it to this planet. We're going to go go there now. Push it, Patawan. We do notice that um, that's like a Star Destroyer engine. They install this engine into some type of machine that makes that engine look like a Lego brick. Yes. So I'm assuming there's like 50 of these engines in there. So I think that's how much power they're going to need to get to that planet. Because you got to remember, if they want to get to Thrawn and come back, it's going to need a lot of energy yes. and, and, and power. So um, 
uh, oh, forget, what's his name again? The guy. Ah, uh, Balin. Balin. I wanted to say something. With, I don't even know what the hell I was thinking. But, but I guess Balin can like sense it. Like, he uses Jedi sensing. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, you. I can tell you Ahsoka Tano being involved has worried you. Yes. And he's like, yes, I, I, it worries me. And uh, it's hard to read her. Because unlike other Jedi's where I can read their intentions, I can't really read her intentions because she has that conflict already inside of her. Right. Like everything she does, she's proud, she is a Jedi. She just doesn't want to accept it. Everything Jedi but in a name. Yeah, in name. Like she just rejected the name. Right. And and even also interesting because it's an uh, interesting idea because I think um, Balin says he doesn't. He feels bad. Yeah, he doesn't want to kill Jedi's. No. He's like, we're going to have to kill her. It's like, it'd be a waste. Yeah. Because there's so few okay. Jedi's left. And then, like, why do you care? It's like, it was like, I'm not saying what the truth is. The truth is, it'd be a waste to kill someone that's such a good Jedi. Like, why do you... Like, exactly, if you're the bad guy, why do you care? So, obviously, he still cares. Right, and that's why people, I think, are saying technically not Sith, but, like, because the Sith was a care. sideways Jedi. He's a sideways <laughs> Jedi, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he turns his lightsaber the other way, you know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he turned it just a little orange. It didn't go full red. <laughs> so, um... Uh, again, this I, I, this episode, while I did enjoy the fights, I did enjoy some of like the moving forward in the plot, it could have been a 10-minute episode or been part of another episode. Yeah, this could have been like going on as like a either B plot or like half the episode. And, and the then the next episode had something else going on. Yeah. But um, yeah, besides that, you know, Sabine just, just, just uh, walking off a lightsaber strike. Hell yeah. And like I said, Disney from now on, either give me a death with a stab in the chest or don't do it. Um, Finnick. People are like, oh, she survived her blast, but she had her whole tummy replaced whole with tummy like machinery was... and stuff. And it was a blaster, not a lightsaber where we feel like a lightsaber. And, and she almost, she was dying, like full blown dying. Sabine just had to put a bandaid on it. Yeah. And then spray some hypo <laughs> spray on it. Yeah, look, you just got like a burn like on yeah. her stomach. Or like someone heated up a quarter and dropped it on her stomach. Ah, yeah, exactly. Really bastard. Right. That's what that's what her, her the extent of her injury. Yeah. So from now she on, she didn't walk with the limp. Even if it would have been a little bit of like, and she puts her armor on, she's like, mm, like she can tell that it's like wincing because it still hurts. Nothing. She's perfectly fine. And how much you want to bet? In the next episode, it won't even be bothering. Yeah, me. I won't even bring it up again. Yeah. Oh, it's just like frame. a. But did it trick anyone? Did anyone think Sabine was gonna die? Yeah, see, and that's the other. Could you imagine the first episode? <laughs> they do all this buildup of like a rebel sequel, and they just let her die. They kill all the characters off. Wow. They get they get to the planet and freaking Ezra's just the skeleton in a tree. He just died as soon as he got there. It's like wow. Like, so freaking Ahsoka just leaves uh, Sabine to die. Ezra's dead. Like. It's all for you. It's all for you guys. <laughs> but um, and Hera just being a little too, too momsy. I guess becoming a mom made her more of a mom. Yeah. Even though she was already like den mother. Yeah. To like her crew. Now it's like doubled up because she's actually a mom. Well, when when a war is over and you're a general, there's not much for you yeah, to do. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like become mom. Be super mom. Yeah. But um. Her, her her haircut looks so much better than it did in the animation. Animation was short. They gave her like a ridiculous super short. This is like a cute pixie cut. The yeah. other one was like a full I'm a boy now cut. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is like cool because this is realistic. The yeah. other one was way too short. That was a buzz cut. Yeah, it was ridiculous looking. And she, they, she had a weird shaped head like, oh, you need hair. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, second episode. Okay. Crimson's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on the video really helps out a lot. It gets the video spread around more, and more people get to see the videos, and we get to make more videos for you guys. So thank you, and we appreciate every single one of you guys.